as you can see, Purcell's with us today, helping out. Um, oh, he's, come here, Purcell, because you've sat, you've sat on the work. Come, come over here. That's it. Good boy. Um, I hope you've had a good week and enjoyed the artwork that we have done already. Um, this week we're going to do a picture for your bedroom. I'll just tell you which materials you'll need. A piece of card if you have it, or thick paper, newspaper, or um, book pages, glue, a pen, scissors, paintbrush, and uh, paint watercolour paints. And then finally, the stencil, which I will have sent you separately. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll just move these out of the way, uh, get your piece of card or thick paper and I'm going to use the newspaper because I've not got enough of the, um, the book pages and all I'm going to do is rip strips out of the newspaper and I'm going to use the glue I'm using this type of glue because it doesn't get everywhere and I'm just going to add the glue all over the paper and then start to add the newspaper to the background. Now it's okay if you go over the edge at this stage because we can cut round later on. And they don't have to be straight pieces. You can do do it in one great big piece, do it in small pieces, it makes it more interesting. And make sure it's all stuck down. You can overlap it a bit, it'll make it stronger. I'll just go underneath there. Okay, so I've, I've nearly finished covering the whole of the piece of paper. I've gone over it as well with the glue just to make sure it's all completely flat. And then, this is what I meant about not worrying about if it goes over the edges. Um, turn it over and then we can just cut away there the pieces and make a neat edge. Okay, so can you see there, I've cut round the edge, all the bits that are over the edge of the cardboard or paper. And on this side, just make sure that everything is stuck down. Um, completely and as you can see I've gone over areas so it doesn't have to be lined up you can layer over the top now what you need to do now is to leave that to dry um, just um, so it, it's dry and this one I did before so that I've got one ready to work on so now we've got our background, we're going to use the stencil and draw around it on the picture. And I want the hair to look as though it's dancing or boxing with another hair. 
So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to draw around it first of all. one hair and now I'm going to turn that over on that side if you can see there and I'm going to draw around it again so they're almost touching okay so if you can see there, we've got the two hairs facing one another. And all you need to do now is to colour them in. I've got my paintbrush. And you can do them whatever colour you want. I'm going to do um, one of them red. But with using the watercolour, you can see that you can see the print behind because it, it's not a thick paint. So you can just start. To see. The detail, if you were using acrylic like you used last week, that's a thicker paint. So you would just get a really thick coverage, which you might want. It's, it's whatever materials you've got in at home. So, there, I'll just turn it around and you can see it at this stage. Now, um, what you can do is, oh, personal's in the way. Can I just get this person? Hold on. Um, when you've got chance, oh, when you've got chance, you can get one of these mount frames you can get them from any hob um, craft shop the range or hobby craft they're not expensive and then you could just place it round your picture this one could be a bit bigger but it's all i've got in at the moment so there you can see it I'll show you the other one that I did that was just using um, the pages from uh, a book. Okay, put your name on it and it's your own piece of artwork for home. Okay, I um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll just show you the materials for next time. So next week, um, I thought we could make your own sketchbook, a concertina sketchbook like this one. Um, and I'll tell you what materials you'll need. Lining paper, um, paints like we've used this week and a brush. Packaging, any kind of packaging or card to support the front cover. 
um, and white acrylic or white emulsion. I hope you've enjoyed doing the exercise this week. Missing you all and I'll see you soon.